It's a scene most Purdue students know. Thursdays at the Neon Cactus have almost turned into a weekly holiday for some. But for most students, their cactus experience revolves around one guy, the guy behind the piano. Can you Photoshop me skinnier? Bruce Barker is celebrating 21 years as Purdue's piano man at the Cactus. His weekly show attracts hundreds of college students each Thursday, and his musical talent is very apparent, but it's a talent that started from a very young age. I, I've always been able to sing. I could always sing. You know, my parents couldn't afford video cameras, but we had a little cassette player. And there's a tape floating around somewhere on cassette of me doing an Elvis concert to my two biggest fans, my mom and dad, and then uh, really, you know, you discover pretty early that what you do best. And I think God's biggest gift to me was the ability to sing. Bruce has called Lafayette home all of his life. After graduating high school, he enrolled at Purdue, joined the Purdue Varsity Glee Club, and taught himself how to play the piano. And from there, his talent started to turn some heads. All through college, my spending money came from winning karaoke contests. The guy who owned the karaoke bar, he was opening up a new bar, and he said, hey, you're in that glee club, right? Over at Purdue? I said, yes, sir. I said, you know any piano players? Because I'm opening up this, this bar, and I need, I've got a really nice piano, and all I need is background music for people to eat to. So I, I'm like, well, sir, I play piano. He said, no way. So right out of college, May of 19, 94, I started at Captain's Cove, fine dining and comedy. Now, at the same time, the cactus was a couple years old and they built this room to, for a piano uh, bar. The manager happened to go to my high school and he came over and caught a show and he said, hey, you, uh, you need to talk to my bosses because they built a room just for what you're doing and it would be your room. And that was November of 1995. And this November will be 21 years that I have been at this bar. I averaged, I, I, t I kept count for about a month, a long time ago, and I do about 60 to 75 songs a night. And a typical night is you get here before the doors open, make sure all the sound works. And then uh, I, right before nine, I always FaceTime with my kids um, and tuck them in, you know, night, night, love you. And then uh, I do my show. Uh, sometimes it's right at four hours. Most of the time it's 4.15. Last Saturday it was five and a half, but uh, those are rare. Um, and then, uh, depending on if my wife is texting me a, Walmart honey-do list, I'll either go to Walmart and shop at the one aisle that they're not resurfacing the wax floor. <laughs> so we can go to Walmart after the cactus is on Thursday. Oh, Bye. you'll, <laughs> I know every person that works at Walmart at 2.30 in the morning. It's a job like none other. And Bruce says the most rewarding part is the energy that the generations of Purdue students have brought to his bar. Every Thursday, I mean every Thursday, whether it's summer, the first Thursday of the semester, Grand Prix, homecoming, Every Thursday, the energy that 300 to 1,000 college students brings to my dumb little show is overwhelming. It, it's, you try and give more to the audience than they give you. You try and overwhelm them with your energy. I, I, I have never done it. I am 0 for 3,000 shows on giving them back as much energy as they give me, it's they it can't. And here's the other thing. If you line up 100 piano bar players, 99 of them are gonna kick my butt. And I'm okay with that. Because it's never been how good you are, it's how good can you entertain. And he's certainly entertained with his musical abilities, but it's also his unique personality and big heart that make him produce Piano Man. Do I, have I still to this day felt comfortable calling myself Piano Man, no. Do I embrace Purdue and their love for calling me that? You bet. Trevor Peters, Fast Track News.